again. I have an announcement. News Update magazine needs source material on the former Soviet Union. Now, this work has to be done over the weekend. Any volunteers? <laughs> Thank you, Herman. <laughs> Mr. Bracken, I'm going to Martinique tonight, remember? Mr. Bracken, I'd love nothing more than to help you out. Wait a minute. We're taking a weekend off and Hetty's going to be here scoring points with the boss? No, we are canceling this trip. Hey, but you said we could go. Who would you rather score points with, Bracken or these young lovelies? Well, maybe a little vacation could help our productivity. You see, always use visual aids. This city is exciting. Dangerous. That woman's not wearing underwear. Is that all you can think about? Food and sex? Yes. Please, focus. Look out! No time for small talk. We're late. Penny, hold the elevator. Penny. I think Louise is so sweet. I think this woman is wearing underwear. I think there's too many people in this elevator. And I think you are all idiots. Let's go to work. Hey, Weezy. Hey, Debo. Hey. So, it's your turn to decide what we're doing tonight, so what are we doing? I don't know, let's just do what we do every Friday. But we did that last Friday. Yes, I know, Louise. By definition, if we do it every Friday, we did it last Friday. So I'd like to do it again this Friday. Hey, Jay Louise, why don't you guys just go away? Go away? Oh, well, that's a nice thought. Fine. Thank you very much. Go away? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about getting out of town. You know, maybe you wouldn't bicker so much if you had a change of scenery. And just go away somewhere, like, like I'm doing. I think this vacation's a bad idea. The plane could crash. There could be a bloody revolution on the island. We could get tan lines. <laughs> we're going on this vacation. No, we're not. You see this? Yeah. <laughs> Once again, visual aids. Maybe Herman's right. Where should we go? Hey, you know where I think you should go. Uh, uh, we don't need to tell us where to go. We figure out where to go by ourselves, okay? I'm drawing a blank. Where should we go? Teddy, you haven't put the major exports in italics. I'll do it when the file's all done. Well, how can you stand to look at it like that? I'll just have to tough it out. I'm just saying it might be fun to get a little exercise on our vacation. Skiing in Aspen is exercise. Belly boarding at Slippy's Water Village is a staph infection waiting to happen. Come on, let's go. Oh, we are not going away until we help our friends settle this. Wait a minute. Why do you want to stay here and listen to this bickering? Because when people are fighting, I feel compelled to help. Well, listen, I hear an island right near Martinique is about to have a coup. You can help them. <laughs> I just hope we're not abducted by a taxi driver and ritually slaughtered for some bizarre island religion. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, I'm out of here. See you next week, guys. The hotel suite is only $12 a night. Jay, I'm not going to Atlantic City. Plus, they have free shrimp cocktail. Not the little shrimp, either. The medium-sized shrimp. No, no, no. So you're saying no. Oh. Mr. Bracken, you have to stop being so anal. It's my best feature. Well, move your best feature out of my chair. Don't you touch me. So long, guys. Tell us about can get you in for half price. I don't want to see orangutans. No, no. The, the picture is everything here. The picture is everything. Oh, I hate these mushy goodbyes. <laughs> Wow, this place is perfect. You see, I told you, there's nothing to be upset about. 
What about the time we accidentally walked in on Grandma Brooks using a shower massage? <laughs> that has nothing to do with this vacation. Maybe not, but it still haunts me. <laughs> Why the hell didn't she lock the door? Hi. Could I use your telephone? Dial away, sweetheart. Have I got a connection for you. Just remember to dial nine first. <laughs> use anything you want. <laughs> I'm locked out of my room, so I just need the phone. But uh, if I think of anything else, I'll let you know. so he can't see. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, anytime. I'm Herman. I'm Aurora. A supermodel Aurora. <laughs> oh, I, I admire your body. It works. Thank you. So, uh, how, how do you like being a model? Well, I enjoy the work, but when you're on location, it gets a little lonely. All right, she's lonely. <laughs> All right, here's our come on line. Um, let's ask her if she wants to have... Sweaty, wild, screaming dingo sex. <laughs> Polish it up for me, will you? Maybe we could get together for a drink. Oh, I'd love to. I'm doing a shoot on the beach at sunset. Why don't you come watch and we'll go from there. Well, that sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> hey, there he is. We found him. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I didn't know you were here with friends. Neither did I. Get away. And this is the only place it would do? Well, we figured if you came here, it must be great. And luckily for me, Salty Sam's casino and conference room was fully booked. Aurora, these are my friends Louise. Hi, nice to meet Hello. you. And Jay. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, nice to uh, Herman, I have to go get the key to my bungalow, so I'll see you tonight. Excuse me. Sure. God, Herman, you're here for an hour. You got a supermodel in your room? Not that I envy you. <laughs> because I have my own little supermodel right here. <laughs> oh, Jay Bo, you didn't have to say that. But you're damn lucky you did. <laughs> so, listen, I want to hit the shower before I hit the beach. What are you need a shower for? We're about to go in the ocean. <laughs> Does this make sense to you, Herman? Don't drag Herman into this. Well, if you want my opinion, I think you guys should go away. We did. We're here. No, this time I mean get away from me. <laughs> get away. That's fine. Nice. Thanks fine. very much. Plus, he yelled it. Can you, you hear him yell? <laughs> Hey, Jay. <laughs> Is everything all right? No, Louise and I had another big fight. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, good. <laughs> she wanted to hike up to some stupid lagoon and swim in some stupid waterfall, and I came here to relax, you know? Jay, Louise likes holding hands under palm trees, you know, watching the sunset. <sighs> I know it's sappy, but... You guys are a great couple. Just go with the flow. Yeah, maybe you're right. Heck, I'm in the Caribbean. I should embrace the mystery and romance of the local culture. I wonder if they got a video arcade. <laughs> Herman, could you grab that water bottle and spray me down? Where do I start? There's so many good places to choose from. Just spray our arms and don't embarrass us. I can do both. Thanks. You're good at that. <laughs> yeah, that's well, what I do, ma'am. <laughs> Herman, Let's... I've been looking for you. I had another, another fight with Jay. Jay, yeah, see, I wanted to hike... hike up to the waterfall and swim in the lagoon, and he didn't. Wow, I must give away a lot in body language. <laughs> Actually, I talked to Jay. Can you believe he just 
supposed to sit by the pool and watch TV? Come on, Louise. You know Jay has the attention span of a three-year-old. I know. God, it's driving me nuts. I know, I know. But look, you've got to learn to enjoy each other's interests. I mean, that's what a relationship is all about. All right, I'll try and be more open-minded. Thanks, Herman. It's really great to have a friend. I'm done. Get away from me. <laughs> I can't believe you gave Louise the brush off just so you can nail some model. That's what I do, ma'am. <laughs> So, how about dinner? Dinner sounds nice. No, great little place. Hey. Would you let me handle this? No, you're not going to handle it. He's my best friend. I'm going to handle it, okay? <laughs> what is the matter with you? Since when am I sappy? Um, I'm going to go get my things. I have the attention, excuse me, I have the attention span of a three-year-old. Can I remind you that I'm a professional writer, that I make my living? Whoa, that dog just caught a frisbee in its mouth. <laughs> I am not meddling. You guys keep trying to hide. Oh, you're obviously right in the middle of something. No, 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 this is nothing. If you will excuse me. I will not excuse you. You got us into this argument. You can't just walk off with some model. First of all, she is a supermodel, okay? <laughs> and second, I didn't get you into this. You've been bickering for the last few weeks. Look, if you can't stop, you figure out what to do. So, you're saying we should break up? I am not saying anything. Sounds like you like Herman's idea. It wasn't my idea. I didn't say that I liked it. You didn't say you disliked it. Well, neither did you. I guess we're breaking up then? Well, I guess we are. Fine, let's break up then. Fine. Fine! Fine! Thanks, Herm. You finally gave us an idea we could use. What? It wasn't my idea! <laughs> I figured it'd be more exotic. <laughs> more like it, thanks. Wow. You're alone for a change. Hi. I thought you'd given up on me and just gone to bed. I tried. I couldn't sleep. And tossing and turning in bed by myself isn't much fun. I guess it's different for women. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how long are you going to be down here? Hey, you barky! You keep not putting rum in my drink. Stop it. Isn't that one of your friends? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's a little upset. Her, her first real relationship just fell apart. She's not taking it very well. But, you know, I am just going to let her deal with this herself. Good. Don't make me get tough with you. I swear I will come right across this bar. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. Louise? Is everything all right? Fine, fine and dandy. I don't happen to miss Jay one bit. Yeah, I, I don't think you'd be drinking this much if you were fine. Ah, so you see right through my little deception. <laughs> Look, I never meant that you guys should split up. I I'm going to be... trash this joint if I don't see a picture of Comet's Cosies in front of me. Pronto! Okay, okay. Now, now, why, don't, why don't I go to the dining room and get you a cup of coffee? And Herman, while you're at it, why don't you check on the blinkers? I'll take cheese. No blueberry. That's Jay's favorite. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Coffee, blintzes, not blueberry. I could go for a fruit plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Herman. Do you like some rum? Oh, man, you look awful. It's Louise, isn't it? No, it's Jay. <laughs> I'm here. I'm your best friend. You don't know me? No. I know it's you, Jay. I mean, you're upset about Louise. Yes. Louise is the best thing that's ever happened to me. <clears throat> that's not true. I once won a bucket of chicken in a scratch-off contest. <laughs> no. I would say that Louise is even better than the chicken. Oh, boy. I beat out a bucket of chicken. <laughs> yeah, and you know how much Jay loves his chicken. I do. I do. I do love chicken. <laughs> Good night, fellas. Hey, Louise, wait. See you later, Herman. Oh, Aurora. Uh, quick! We gotta stop her! You better be talking about Louise. I'm talking about the supermodel. Oh, come on! What? Well, it's obvious we're not gonna get any rest on this vacation, so the least we can do is make a decision. Now, are we gonna go with what's behind curtain number one? Leggy supermodel Aurora. What's behind curtain number two? Our drunk and bickering friend. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. What's behind curtain number three? Shut the curtain, Tony. Remy's taking the curtain. <laughs>
Please come back. Look, you guys misunderstood me before, so let me be completely clear now. Don't let petty differences drive you apart. Look, you guys are the best couple I know. You fill in what's missing in each other's lives, and you just don't know how lucky you are to have each other. I love you, Jabo. I love you too, Evie. Herman, I'm still waiting on that blimp. <laughs> I just got off the phone with Delgado. He wants that Soviet project in an hour. How close are you, Hetty? Usually when a man asks me that, I have to lie. <laughs> this time I don't have to. Eddie, this is quite good. I must say that over the years I've had my doubts about you, but I was wrong. You're turning into a top-notch researcher. <laughs> now, where are the other 14 republics? What do you mean? Well, this is Russia. That's only one of the 15 republics of the former Soviet Union. I'm sorry, Mr. Bracken. I didn't know that. Eddie, everybody knows there are 15 republics just like they know there are seven dwarfs and three stooges. And don't forget 50 ways to leave your lover. <laughs> Actually, there are only 49. You can't really count. Make a new plan stand as a viable method of escape. <laughs> Meanwhile, this project is due in an hour, and we're only 115th done. What do we do now? We don't do anything. I call Delgado and take the heat from my department. Well, we feel that's best. <laughs> I was wrong about being wrong about you, Hetty. You're no top-notch researcher. Now, yeah, Miss Delgado, Paul Bracken. Uh, I'm sorry to call you at home, but uh, I got a problem here. Mr. Delgado, this is Hetty Newman in research, and I'm afraid I've made a terrible mistake. And uh, as a result, the Soviet files won't be ready on time. Yes, I, I understand how important this is, but I assure you I'll get this to you as soon as I can. I'm sorry. Oh, Mr. Bracken, what do I do now? You don't do anything. We finished those other 14 republics. Eddie, I'm proud of you. Maybe I was wrong about being wrong about being wrong about you. Morning. Morning. Uh, How you doing? Hang on a second. Somebody put a wool mitten in my mouth. <laughs> no, nope, it's my tongue. Oh. So, we've had a romantic night on the beach. Where do we go from here? Well, oh. I can definitely eat. The hotel has a great buffet. I, I sort of meant longer term. Oh, uh, oh, I thought we could ride the glass bottom boat today. It's really cool. They got a fish with like a, it's like a flashlight on its head. <laughs> Jay, I'm talking about our relationship. Oh. What? We bicker about stupid little things, you know, but all couples do. Tell me something. Where do you see yourself in ten years? That's easy. In ten years, I got a book on the bestseller list. I got a penthouse apartment in Manhattan. <laughs> and I'm at an awards dinner picking up my Pulitzer Prize. Uh-huh. And where am I in that picture? Oh. <laughs> You're there. Uh, you're on the limo, or you're online in a ladies' room or something. You're definitely around, though. No, I don't think so. You're obviously not ready to share your lifestyle with someone. Well, where do you see yourself in ten years? Well, when I think of the future, I, I see myself in the countryside running a little art gallery, but I see myself doing it with a husband and kids and pets and everything. I also see myself flying to a spaceport with a jetpack, but that's much further into the future. Well, why don't we just worry about the future later and just keep going where we're going? No, because the future is right now. We both wanted things that we never had before. I wanted to sleep with somebody that I care about. And you wanted to care about the person you were sleeping with. And now that we're there, we're headed in different directions. Well, well you, you don't want to break up, though, right? I mean, do you? No, I don't. 
I really don't. But I think that we should, while we still like each other. I'm afraid that the bickering is going to get mean, and then we'll just end up hating each other. Yeah, okay. No. I, you're right. Okay, so... So what do we... What do we do now? Um... I think I'm going to hike to that waterfall and swim in the lagoon. Well, no, I'll go do that with you if you want. No. I'm going to go alone. Okay. Please. Bye, Jay. Yeah. Thanks for everything. You too. gonna be okay yeah I guess I mean it's definitely gonna be rough for a while but we're still friends you know anyway I'm just sorry our stupid bickering ruined your chance with Aurora oh, that's okay don't worry about it man hey have a good flight back thanks buddy you're a good friend I'll see you back in town okay okay it's gone oh, thank God <laughs> we'd never leave it's official. They're on their way back to New York, and we are finally alone. we found him! Who are those people? I have no idea. <laughs> those charges against four people will have the details. And I'm Donya Archer. A big local business move is two Johnstown banks merge. And some area residents are barking mad over their neighbor's dogs. We'll have part four of Neighbors from Hell. I'll do the latest in home video tonight. We'll see you next on Newswatch.